Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about student hostel in Kathmandu University. But first, let me make it clear, it's the Kathmandu University School of Science that I will be covering. It's not a medical school, it's in Dhulikhel, but it's a whole different department. So yes, let's get started. The university has several hostels, two are in the main premises, one for girls and one for boys. Also international students are provided single accommodation at the guest house within the university premises. Each hostel is secured by guards and is provided with an internet facility, hot water. Also all the rooms are well furnished uh, but you must share your room with a roommate. So there are two students in each room. So let's talk about hostel application procedure. After you have successfully completed admission procedure in any of the department, you will have to fill up hostel application form. Usually hostel application notice is published during February to March for newly enrolled students. You can get these forms either physically at the hostel or online as well. Applicants should complete the application form and submit it before the deadline. Priorities are given to the students who are originally from outside the Kathmandu Valley. Those who do not live and do not have any family members or relatives inside the Kathmandu Valley and Dhulikil area are prioritized. After application, if your name is luckily published in the list, then next you have to go through an interview. Like I mentioned, you must be a genuine and needy student and if you are from outside the valley then your chances of getting the approval is higher however at the moment hostel facility for masters and PhD students excluding international students is not available congratulations once your application is approved for the hostel accommodation now you have to do the payment at first you must pay rupees 15,000 out of total 15,000 rupees 8,000 is your refundable deposit whereas rupees 7,500 is your hostel fee per semester so basically it means that you are only charged around rupees 1250 per month isn't it awesome that's the hostel fee which is super duper cheap now let's talk about the room like i mentioned before you will have a roommate and there will be two beds two table two chairs two cupboards and two daras for each of you also free wi-fi and hot water but you all must share a common bathroom so yes it's super cheap so the competition for hostel is also very very tough and uh, only around 70 to 80 quotas are there each year for newly enrolled students in both boys and girls hostel furthermore hostel fee excludes your fooding there are three major destinations to eat on main campus uh, KU Canteen, KU Cafe and KU Mess. KU Canteen is mainly for breakfast, lunch and snacks. KU Cafe is for having tea, coffee, bakery items, drinks. Whereas KU Mess is for lunch and dinner.
Yes, hostel in Kathmandu University is very cheap, but the competition is also too much high. Only needy students from outside the Kathmandu Valley, from remote districts and areas are eligible for the application and they are most likely to pass the interview as well. But what about students from Kathmandu Valley and urban areas? What about students who are not eligible for hostel, who fail the interview? Where do we live? Where do we go? Well, we don't have to worry much. There are enough space and houses that are available for rent. Also, hostel do have its disadvantages. For example, your movements are restricted. You have to enter hostel before 7 p.m. You won't have much free nightlife and you must have a roommate. So no privacy at all. Also, the common bathroom, like what do we do in those desperate mornings when we have to be in queue for using bathroom, right? So yes, ultimately, hostelers would also want to leave hostel at some point in their life. I will also cover the common areas where we can rent rooms, flats in the KU surroundings, their cost and everything in the next vlog. If you like my videos, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. If you have any queries, then you can also connect to me in my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very great time ahead. Take care. Bye.